Sun TV. Good evening, President, First Lady, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mohammed from Sun TV. Welcome to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. The last time you saw a Muslim here was Hassan Minhaj. Hassan, peace be upon him, is the name for one of the two grandsons of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hussein, peace be upon him, is the other grandson, and collectively they are known as the leaders of the youth of paradise. Hussein is also the middle name of President Barack Obama. Didn't he sign an executive order to close down Guantanamo Bay in 2009? Last time I checked, in 2022, there are still 37 detainees here. Dios mio. Did you hear about the reporter who asked Obama a hard question? No, neither have I. Obama's stay at the White House is typical of black people's housing in the USA, renting in social housing from a white landlord before being kicked out after eight years. Do you know how Obama proposed to Michelle? He got down on bended knee and said, I don't want to be Obama self. I thought when he was in term, I would see a Nissan Altima parked outside, weekly garden parties on the North Lawn, a small KFC outlet in the Oval Office, loud rap music playing until midnight, and bringing down the local house prices within a quarter mile radius. Hey, all you black folk laughing at that, just remember, it's only since 1944 that black reporters were actually allowed to attend this event. Let that sink in. And for all you white ladies laughing at the black folk, it's only since 1962 that women were allowed to attend this event. Think about that for a while. What is Obama's favourite TV show? Game of Drones. Anyway, Obama is a complicated and nuanced character. He is not just black and white. Speaking of black and white affairs, apart from this White House Correspondents' Dinner, what's black and white and red all over? A penguin with a sunburn. Talking of someone who has a permanent tan, Donald Trump. What's the difference between Trump and a flying pig? The letter F. I thought when he was in term, I would see the White House coloured gold, an 18-hole golf course on the South Lawn, a McDonald's drive through in the South Portico, a casino in the Oval Office, and a large neon Trump sign on the front door. What did Trump say when he heard a Mexican man wanted to be an American fireman? No way, Jose. When China built the Great Wall, the Mongols invaded them and founded the Huan dynasty. With Trump building his wall, will the Mexicans invade the US and found the Huan dynasty? Trump said recently he has a great relationship with all the blacks, but I think he was referring to the All Blacks, the New Zealand rugby team. The Donald recently deported a printer because it didn't have papers. How do Mexicans feel about Trump's wall? They'll get over it, but not to attend a Trump rally for sure. Speaking about Trump rallies, Joe Biden's hair is so white, it tried to punch me at a Trump rally. I thought he would convert the Oval Office into a bingo hall and install a stairlift on the Grand Staircase. Joe Biden had a meeting with the cabinet today. He also spoke to the bookcase and argued with their desk. He is like a web browser with 19 tabs open. 17 are frozen and he doesn't know where the music is coming from. Why does Joe Biden call women muffins? Because muffins backwards spelt is sniffum. From the current president to the third president, Thomas Jefferson. He had a 1764 English translation of the Holy Quran, which is the holy book of the religion of Islam, now residing in the Library of Congress. It's the same book which Republican Keith Ellison, who was America's first Muslim member of the body, used for his 2007 swearing in. America has lately had a complicated history with Islam, from Middle East invasions to Muslim country bans and everything in between. This evening, let's break down barriers and I beg your indulgence to allow me to read you the first chapter of the Holy Quran in English. Chapter 1, The Opening In the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful, all praise belongs to Allah, Lord of all the worlds, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful, Master of the Day of Retribution. You alone do we worship 
and to you alone do we turn for help. Guide us on the straight path, the path of those whom you have blessed, such as have not incurred your wrath, nor are astray. Look behind me. Nothing says quality than a canvas sc screen of the White House with creases. It has more wrinkles on it than Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton combined. Washington, D.C. This land was acquired from Virginia and Maryland, where enslavement was practiced. Historic payroll reports documents that many of the workers who built the White House were African Americans, some free and some enslaved. Working along alongside white laborers, the African American workers cut sandstone in the quarry in Acquia, Virginia. They also dug the footings for the White House, built the foundations, and fired bricks for the interior walls. It took black right activists such as Dr. Martin Luther King and al Haj Malik al-Shabazz, also known as Malcolm X, who said, You're not to be so blind with patriotism that you can't face reality. Wrong is wrong, no matter who does it or says it. The White House's north and south porticos are constructed with red Seneca sandstone from Maryland. The sandstone walls weren't painted white until the White House was reconstructed after the British fires. Applying white paint on top of red. Now, that's a familiar American pattern, isn't it? Whitewashing over red. It's a metaphor for building over red Indian land. I personally prefer to use the term Native American, as they discovered America first, and it was only Christopher Columbus's sheer arrogance in calling the Native Americans as Indians, as he mistook them for belonging to India. I can see tonight that the CNN table is having a whale of a time, What's the difference between CNN and the Titanic? The Titanic had all of its anchors when it sank. I was at home and I said, Alexa, turn on CNN. I want to hear the news. Alexa replied, you'll have to pick one or the other. Why is Don Lemon not perfect? Because he is just sublime. What does professional wrestling and CNN have in common? They're both fake, but sometimes people still get hurt. Don't laugh too loudly at the CNN table, Fox News. I watched Fox News for the first time in my life recently, and I was disappointed. As it turns out, there is no actual coverage of foxes. But wait, CNN actually has a wolf. Or is it a sheep in wolf's clothing? What's the difference between Fox News and the North Korean government? One is a racist prick of a system that is incredibly biased and is trying to force you to follow its beliefs and the other is the North Korean government. What's the difference between a washing machine and a Fox News? No difference. They both spin dirty laundry until it smells better. Fox News has de determined the cause of the recent plane crash. It was the left wing. What's in common between the president and a turkey? You can roast both. Speaking of roasting, I'm a bit tired. I need a cough feffy with some well-roasted beans. If you don't know, that's a Trump latte. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. President, First Lady, ladies and gentlemen. Good night and God bless. By the way, do you serve peanuts on rendition flights?